I love using literature to teach my little ones. And it's really great when I can combine literature with fun activities. Hi, I'm Christy with Homeschooling in Progress. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I used the book Mouse Paint to teach my little guy about mixing colors. Now, if you are not familiar with Mouse Paint, it's a really fun book. And the premise of the book, get to the beginning pages, there are three white mice and a cat. And the cat takes a nap. And so the mice see the paint and decide to get into it. And they climbed in, one was red, one was yellow, one was blue. So when I started this activity, I decided to use Play-Doh. You obviously can also use paint, but I wasn't in the mood that day to get into a big mess with my little guy. And so, and he really loves Play-Doh. He loves paint too, but he loves Play-Doh as well. And so I decided to use Play-Doh to show him how to do color mixing. And so I made some Play-Doh. I'll put a link below to where you can find the recipe that I really like. But I have, uh, I made the three colors of Play-Doh just like the paint. And I actually did this activity before I read him the book. Um, so I'll kind of, but I'll kind of talk about both as I go. And so in the book, the mice are colored and they are dripping puddles onto this white paper. And the red mouse sees the yellow puddle that the yellow mouse made and he's playing around and jumping in it. And then of course he realizes, skip the page, he realizes he made orange. And then the, uh, the yellow mouse goes into the blue paint and you know makes green and then the blue mouse goes into the red paint and makes purple. Um, and so uh, the, with this book, I went ahead and decided to um, do this activity with my little guy based on these colors and to show him color mixing. And so what I did is I um, had my the Play-Doh set out at the table with him and just kind of just had it into three colors. And so I asked him, you know, I had the three colors sitting out. And so I told him, oh, can you show me the yellow Play-Doh? And he held up the yellow. Can you show me the red Play-Doh? And he held up the red Play-Doh. Can you show me the blue Play-Doh? And so on. And um, also, you know, just a little backstory. This is not the very first activity I did when I was teaching him colors. This is one of the most recent ones that we did. This is not an activity I would do right off the bat. Kids, when they're just learning about colors, aren't ready to hear, you know, about the mixing and creating different colors. Um, so I did this when he was, I think he had already turned three, but he was right around late two, early three years old. And so, um, you know, I broke off a little piece of the red Play-Doh and the yellow Play-Doh. And I kind of just pushed them together and was manipulating them with my hands. And then I gave it to him to do the same. And so he kept pushing it. And then eventually I pointed out to him, it's making a new color. And so I asked him, what color is this making? And he realized this is orange, which just was totally amazing to him that red and yellow together made orange. How cool is that? Um, and then so I said, well, why don't we see if these colors will make some other colors if we mix them together? Why don't we do red again, but this time let's mix it with blue. And so, you know, he understood at this point, oh, okay, I'm going to push them together and so on. And then so he was able to make the purple, which again, just, you know, it was so fun to watch him realize, oh my goodness, this is creating a different color. <laughs> um, and then we did the, uh, and then we used the blue with the yellow, mixed those together. And I had him at this point guess what color he thought. Um, he, again, I think said purple or orange or something like that. And so I said, okay, well, let's see what it makes. So we pushed the colors together, and then he realized it made green. And so he just he just thought that was so cool. He eventually mixed them all together, which made kind of a yucky brown. But again, you know, he, he got the idea about the color mixing. So then after we did all of that, then I said to him that I had a really fun book for him to try. Or to read to him, not to try, but a fun book to read to him. 
And so we read this book. And when I got to the point where the um, the mouse danced in the the red mouse danced in the yellow puddle, I stopped and I said, "Oh, they're going to put red and yellow together. Do you remember what color we made when we put red and yellow together?" And and then reminded you know him that he made the orange with that. And so that was a great review right after he did this activity. It was a great review to, you know, kind of reiterate to him that those colors mixed together. Um, so, and then towards the end of the book, the, um, the they realized that the cat's going to wake up and find them. And so they washed themselves in the cat's water bowl. <laughs> And then they decided to paint the um, paper instead. So they painted the paper red and another part yellow and another part blue. And then they mixed them together and made, um, you know, all the different colors on the paper. So uh, so it's a, it's a really fun book. And it's a great way to teach your kids about color mixing and a great way to use some sensory materials of the Play-Doh, like I suggested in this activity um, that we did, or the paint, if you'd rather do that, that's always fun as well. So I hope that gives you a fun activity to do with your child to teach about color mixing. And thank you for watching. Happy homeschooling.